Good morning YouTube. Welcome back to my series on Bellingham Hotspots. I'm going to take another morning hike, Sunday morning hike up uh, Squires Lake and see what we can find up there. Got my photo, uh, my camera with me rather, so I'm going to try to snap some photos today and uh, get a few shots for you guys to enjoy. Uh, please enjoy the journey and take this hike with me. I hope you like what you see. I didn't do much planning this morning on how this was going to all work out. I just uh, Hopped out of bed and decided to head out here. Try to get up there before um, the sun comes up. So uh, it's supposed to come up about 7.30 this morning. So we got a little time to get up there and shoot some photos for you guys. So stay tuned. Here we are, Squires Lake. Approaching the sign right now. We'll give you guys a little look. We're going to make our way up the trail and see what we can find. When I say I didn't plan much, I didn't even get out of my pajama pants. Straight in the pajama plants onto the trail. Parking light is bare. Nobody's up here. Checkpoint number one. Here we are. First sign. About to make our way onto the trail. We're making progress. Getting up that first uh, half mile is the toughest part. See the but look at these ferns all weighed down by this the rain yesterday. All nice and flat. Right in the middle of the trail. You'd think that they could relocate that. It's right in your way. Mother Nature just didn't have a good plan, I guess. Look at this, this tree went down. It's just laying here, gathering moss. All the way down to the trailhead here. Next to these big boulders. Ground just stopped it. Some tall trees right there. Starting to lighten up a little. We're almost to the top. Look at this big boulder. I think we're about to round that last turn and head up to the lake. We're gonna make it there in no time. Not sure if you guys can hear that, but the, I hear the rush of the water. I was approaching the top of the lake here. Top of the hike to the lake, rather. We're getting up there. It's going to be right around this corner. All right, we made it up. There's the first look at it as we approach. Give you a look at this running water I was telling you about. You can always hear this as you get up here. It's water flowing through from the lake. A little runoff from the bridge here. All right, let's get around now. I'll give you guys a little peek at the, the lake this morning. Looks like um, the fog is starting to roll in, but we got here just in time. So let's give you a little close up here. Let you take it in this morning. See what you think of uh, Squires Lake this morning, what it looks like. Looks pretty clear, pretty calm. I'm gonna snap a few photos for you. Put them in right after this clip. Give you a look back here. A little fog on the far end there, but it's uh it's still looking pretty nice. Hopefully you like some of those photos. Uh, let me know in the comments which one you like most. I'm always interested to hear what uh, what what you guys like. So, if there's a favorite of yours, let me know which one. I'm gonna head out on this trail, get around to the other side, and maybe look for a few more uh, fun things to photograph. Stay tuned. I'll pop the photos in uh, in the feed so you can take a look as I go. I'm gonna try to make this a little bit of a photo taking excursion today. I think that'll be a little bit more interesting to add a photo element to my hikes so it's not just a trail but a little photo um, collage throughout as well kinda like the moss on that uh, tree right there we'll see if we can get a couple good shots of it for you I always think of this moss as almost like nature's fur 
Almost looks like uh, something you'd find on an animal, you know? When it grows like that. Just covers the branch like that. Keeping it warm from the elements. This little slab of rock right here is always a dangerous element. You could easily slip on that one. Almost fell this morning, I wasn't paying attention. Left that tree and almost took a fall. Look at the root structure on this bad boy that went down. Definitely took a little to get that one out of the ground. Just laying down. Joining the rest of the forest. These trees that break off like this and look like little knives coming up always intrigue me. Always look so dangerous. Little knives out of the earth. Looks like a couple more that went down. This one is interesting. It's balanced right on top of that other tree over there. You can see that right there. Right on top of it. Not sure what this marking is, but it looks like somebody marked this one for some particular reason. Number 11, maybe. Isn't that lucky number 11? It's the good luck tree. Maybe we should touch it, get some good luck. Give me some good luck. There we go. All right. Good luck the rest of the day. This one almost looks like it's got little antlers. Little antlers poking out, two little branches. A little bee, or a little ant, rather. All right, we made it to the first uh, lookout spot. We got the little bench here. We're not gonna waste much time here. We'll give you a look at it. Let's see, we can show you. I'll turn you around so you can see it better. There it is. Little bench here. I'll give you a look at the view. And we'll be on our way. Like I said, this one is not much of a view. In past videos I've shown this. It's just a bunch of trees. Um, if they weren't there, it would look out on some water probably, but as they exist, not much to see. Just a little peaceful spot. Let's keep going. This is the little antler tree I was telling you about. Let's see if I can get a photo of it for you guys. Show it off a little. See what you think. I'm hoping we can make it over to the little Medusa tree I've shown in my previous videos. Kind of looks like Medusa. I'm going to get a photo of that for you guys shortly. If we can make it over there and get some good light on it. But first take a look at these colors. Look at those oranges and browns. Big pile of dead ferns here. Nice and bright. Hope you guys enjoy this. A little bit of nature for you this morning. Thanks again for taking this hike with me. Squires Lake Loop, let's keep going. Sore calf muscle, sore knee, but up the hill we go. These hikes have been taking it out of me lately, but I'm still out here. I'm sensing a theme here. I think I like all the fallen trees the best. All these trees that fall and find a new place in life. That's how it works sometimes, right? You fall and end up somewhere new. Look at that little hive of moss. Almost looks like a bee's hive. I'm gonna stop here and snap a few pictures of it for you. Comes right off that branch, a little bundle of bundle of moss for you. Take a few branches off this one, it could be a little slide. Just slide right on down to the trail. Slip and slide. Exit. I think that might be the Medusa tree's brother right there. Looks similar to the one I'm after. There's a nice tree right around this corner. We're gonna get some shots of it for you. I call it the Medusa tree, but I'm sure it doesn't mind. At least it's got a name. South Ridge Trail option. 
Now we're gonna stay on Squire's Lake Loop. Onward. All right, there she is, the mighty Medusa tree. Let's give you guys a look. Reaching out with all her snaky branches. And all her glory. Let's see, how, how, how far does she go up? I think she ends about right there. Let's get a couple photos of her for you. Not sure if you guys can hear that. This little bird doing all kinds of talking. He's talking to the Medusa tree maybe, I don't know. He heard me snapping photos and just started chirping up. Sounds like he's coming from over here somewhere. He's up in one of those trees up there. He's quieting it down a little bit as he point the camera at him. But he knows I'm up here for sure. Making all kinds of noise. Wish I could get a photo of him. Where is he at? I see him. That's a squirrel. It's not a bird. It's a little squirrel. Zipping around on that tree up there. Yep, he just went up it. Sounded like a bird, but it was a little squirrel. He's chirping his little brains out. Yep, he's letting folks know I'm out here. Let's keep going. Let's see what else we can find. Here comes that downhill. Brace yourselves. Kind of a cool stump over there as you leave the Medusa tree. Approaching the water area. Pretty big too, I don't know. Two huge trees right down to that stump. I'm kind of digging this branch right here. Might be tough to get a photo of it with my telephoto lens on here, but look at that. Just looping up and over. At least we got the video to capture it for you. It's cool, huh? Here we go. Man down. Fresh tree right over the trail. Look at that. That one came down either last night or this morning, right over the trailway, right in the way. Hopefully someone get out here and chop that up, get it out of the way of the hikers, but that's a fresh one. Let's see if we can uh, find how it went down for you. Take a look at it in a little more detail. Right there before the turnoff to go either to Squires Lake or up to Beaver, uh, Beaver Loop, the trail just went to uh, tree just went down. Looks like it broke off right up there somewhere. Let's get a look from the other side. Yep, looks like it snapped off right up there. Let's see if we can get a look at it for you. Right at the end there. Snapped off and went down. Found a new destination. Right across the trail here. Looks to be an old one. Some bark coming off, maybe it wasn't too healthy. Right across the trail. Beaver Pond Loop or Squires Lake Loop? We're gonna stick on Squires Lake. Onward. There it is. The obligatory flowing water shot. Through the culvert here. And out the other side. On into the lake. If you want that longer hike, uh, Beaver Pond Loop waits that way. I have to take that one of these days. Today's not that day. Onward to Squires Lake. Let's go. Trickle, trickle, trickle. A little waterfall for you. You gotta go to the bathroom, press pause and go, but come back.
Kind of like how this wood just lays right over the stream here. Somebody placed it there just on purpose. So you could get to the other side. Maybe they did, who knows. It does look a little too perfect for uh, Mother Nature. It's in its right spot though. That's Mother Nature's seat right there. Just take a seat on there, watch this stream. Perfect Sunday morning getaway. Look at it go. Let's get out to that lake. We're almost there. More mossy tree branches. They're all over out here. It's a big one. It's been here a long time. Stumps and stumps and more stumps. Somebody's keeping this trail ready for us. This is where it gets a little tricky. Tighten those shoelaces. We got rooted. We got rooted going on here. Be careful. Let's get down these steps and take a look at the lake. We're on the south side. We're almost there. We'll get over there and uh, give you a peek at it. A little bench awaits. Right around the corner here. Here we go. It's the jewel. The Jill Fugate Bench. Jill Fugate Bench, rather. You've seen it before, it's a nice one. I'll give you guys a look at the grass out here. There's the lake. Get you guys zoomed out, give you a full look at it. Looks like that fog's burned off. Be good for another shot here. We'll take a few photos. It's a little swampy through this side. You can see that water down there. I'd get down in there for some pictures, but it looks a little too wet for me. This is kind of a cool branch, or log rather, with some mushrooms on it. Let's give you a look at those mushrooms. We can get a few uh, photos of them as well. They're just growing all over it. Watch your ankles, watch your ankles. It's another root explosion. They're all over. Watch out. Look at this tree. It's got hollowed out at the top. Somebody's been pecking away at that sucker. All kinds of holes in it. All the way up. Someone had that one for lunch. Another quick look out over the lake, up to the trees, it's looking pretty nice, that fog is all gone. Look at this little log, found its way to the water, would be a good one to take a picture of, let me get one for you. Look at these two trees. One's going to go one way, and the other's going to go the other way. They couldn't decide. And then this one decided to branch off, and he went back towards the other one. And then he went back up another direction. This tree is confused. He doesn't know which way he wants to go. I wonder why they do that. I'm going to get down to that water's edge for you one way or another. One step at a time. Here's a look at it. Careful, don't fall in. Got a little action on that uh, far side of the lake over there. 
see if we can get it caught. Some ducks made their way. They're flying across the lake here. Of course, the moment I turn the camera on, they sit still. That's long enough. They're not taking off again. Just flying all the way across this lake, getting to the other side. There it is, the Laura McClelland. The Laura McClelland. Bench. That's a hard one to say, McClelland. Thanks for uh, putting this out here for Laura. In honor of Laura. Hopefully you guys can come out and enjoy her bench. A few more little bridges and we'll be to the other side of the lake. We've almost made it. This is a nice little area you can come and sit with the family. Two benches, a little history, and a nice view. Back at the water's edge, it's just a little boat launch area. You can get out on the water with a little boat, paddle yourself around out there. Another empty bench. Seems like I'm the only one out here today. Where are you guys at? There's a nice view out here. Take a look. Here's where the trail widens out, opens up a little. You're almost to the other side. Plenty of room out here. The roots are gone. Open space. Another tree found its way to the water. Taking a little swim. Is that the bridge over troubled waters over there? Let's get over there and check it out. Leaves, leaves, and more leaves. You can get with this. Or you can get with that. Looks like I spoke too soon. A little bit about that fog is coming back. It's rolled in again. Got a little haze over this lake as we make our exit. And cross this bridge and head on down. Thanks for coming out and thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys. Please think about subscribing if you like some of these uh, nature hikes. I'm going to try to do more of them. Incorporate some more photography into things. Give you guys a look at the beauty of uh, Pacific Northwest. Focusing on uh, Whatcom, Skagit, and Snohomish counties to start. And who knows we'll, where we'll go from there. Possibilities are endless. Let's head on down. See at the bottom. One mile complete. Way to go, guys. Let's head on down to the car. Hope things are alright down there. Say hi to the people. Video, don't get me on video. <laughs> no, I'll put the animals on. People love to see, see animals. You guys have some beautiful dogs here. Oh, oh no, stay away from the camera. Sorry. No worries. That fog is just about gone up there, so you guys will have a good look at it. Nice. Awesome. Hi. Have fun up there. Okay. That was a fun little treat. I want to thank those folks for letting me put their dogs on the video. Give you guys a look at a couple. I think they were poodles, it looked like. Um, friendly guys, ready for the, to make it to the top of the hike they were almost to the top there so hopefully they enjoy their trip up there there it is again that uh, boulder right in the middle of the trail somebody's design plan was not good I got around it we're safe onward look at this nice slick rain slick log perfectly perpendicular to the trail I love that I can't believe that even moss grows on rocks out here. Can you believe it? Unbelievable. The old knee starting to tighten up again. We're almost there. One step at a time. We'll get there. We'll get there. Keep going. 
Here we go. Last turn. Last turn. We're almost there. We're almost there. The road opens up. Bathrooms are near. Car's still here. We made it. Congratulations, everybody. Thanks for coming along. Appreciate you guys joining me. Success. Well on our way to 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers. We're going to get there. One step at a time. One hike at a time. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.